Hey, I'm Julieta Nuga and this is the Sounds of Black Britain podcast. I do believe that music is a life force. I had the girlies on my ends rocking novelist t-shirts. But if there was no boy better know, that wouldn't even have occurred. Because that's what Carnival was about originally, wasn't it? It was mainly about community and culture. Join me as I take a deep dive into the musical history of Black Britain, alongside the people who lived it, breathed it, and contributed to the scene's rights. And I respect Kanye King and the whole crew for even having a vision and the foresight to do it. When everyone acted like it was some hood thing or this is some ghetto, blah, blah, blah. Come in. <laughs> Don't make the rain fall for your enemies. <laughs> I suppose they, they will get bigger because rain makes people, things grow, you know? That's amazing. Right. <laughs> don't worry if you don't know all the words to soca music. Just wind your ways. Just, Just wind, wind your ways. <laughs> I'll be in conversation with Estelle, J5, Shaka, Alakai Harley, Tiana Major 9, DJ Target, novelist, DWE, and the founder of the Black Curriculum, plus so many more. When I first started making like Afro-type stuff, I wanted to be doing whatever was in the charts. I wanted to be doing pop music and doing it. Okay. But I couldn't get in the room with Rex Free 2 who was big at the time. I couldn't get it. But I could get in the room with Qualms and Flavor or Mr. Silver. When I first started out, I pretended to be a man so people could like take me seriously. From my understanding anyway, she'd fall under like Afro Rock. Cause she gives me old school Rihanna vibes where she can fall under pop, this and this and that. She's the original bad girl Afro Rock. Black music, black culture, black education, brought to you by the Black Curriculum. This is the Sounds of Black Britain podcast, coming soon to all your favourite podcast outlets.